afternoon. I just wanted to show you and share with you some of the very colorful items I, I picked up at the thrifting store. I was at Value Village in Goodwill yesterday and uh, I seem to pick up a lot of things on this great theme. Some plates. Good quality. Cute little condiment bowls from Napa Valley. And of course, I'm always looking on for bright and colorful dog and kitty dishes. With the holidays coming up, we need our fall dishes. And oh, how cute is this? A bobblehead Dalmatian ornament. I always, always pick up bright and colorful party supplies. I bundle them up and list them so you can have colorful parties and holidays. This is a nice cute ceramic frame. Make a wonderful gift for a pet person. Uh, fabric holiday napkins that I'm probably going to pair with this bag of napkin rings that I found. I'll probably pair those up. I also found these napkin rings, which is more of a spring type napkin rings. Shower curtains. Uh, really cool from Australia. Kitchenware. Some arts and craft ideas. Beautiful, beautiful pottery. Uh, lotion pump. Another Benihana, I guess a warrior. I have not seen this one yet. I'm going to have to look him up. Also for Easter, cute little lamby on, on a dish, covered dish, candy dish. And how cool is this? Do you remember these? This is Tupperware, where you actually make your your hamburgers and and put them in, in these little containers to, to save them. That's really cool. I may want to keep those myself because I do like to make my own hamburgers up. Uh, and over here, for my friend in Georgetown that loves missions, look at this what I found. It's a tea towel with different churches and chapels on, on it. I thought that was very interesting. Actually, they are Welch chapels. But very, very interesting. Uh, more napkin rings, some figurines. How cool is this? The dog has stolen the tennis ball from the girl playing tennis. And a friend is one who lends an ear. A friend is one who keeps you balanced. Picked up a lot of these plain white dishes. These are red cleft. Uh, not a whole lot of color to them, not very colorful except for the paper separating them. But sometimes you just need some plain white to go with your colored items. Uh, Boston Terrier on slate, little disappointed there is some staining in there. Oh, Mr. Piggy, we like Mr. Piggy. He's so cute, that's very heavy. And then we'll just look, you talk about some color. Oh, wow. If you want to color your world, just look at these colorful kitties. This one looks like he's drinking some wine. This one, I'm not real sure. I'm going to have to use the translator on my phone to actually see what that says because it's all in a foreign language to me. But, oh, just very colorful, very colorful. I wanted to 
swing back over here real quick and show you this one mug a, a, a little closer up it. This is a mug of the Battleship Texas. Battleship Texas, which, let's get back over here real quick to my notes. It was the second battleship of the U.S. Navy, May 18th, 1912. It was used both in World War I and World War II. It was decommissioned in 1948 and moved to Laporte, Texas, which is near, uh, near Houston. And it became the first battleship ever to be used as a museum and to, uh, to be, be designated as a historical landmark. Now, just recently, there has been controversy about the Texas because it's in decay, it's rusted, it's in very dire need of repairs. So they will be moving it. It's, uh, it's now closed to the public. Used to, you could do tours. I remember as a kid going on the battleship and just getting on the gunners and, and doing the tours. But they will be moving it and restoring it. And I have not heard how long that's going to take. But, uh, but yes, we, the battleship Texas has been here a long time. So that's going to leave a, a, a empty spot on the Houston Ship Channel over by the San Jacinto Monument. Well, I'm going to uh, try to get all this stuff photographed individually and uplisted on my eBay store. So stop by for a visit. It's SB55 shop, S-H-O-P-P-E dot com. And that'll take you over to my eBay store. And uh, if there's things you want me to keep an eye out for, let me know. Because I very much enjoy searching for things that will help you to color your world and make it a brighter place. So smile, everybody. Talk to you later.